aces. Uh, the four aces is a way of evaluating talent. So for example, how many of you guys grade your deals with the, the plus or minus, all that? Do you do that? Well, the four aces is this, really in a quick nutshell. It's four things you're always in control of. Awareness, concentration, effort, and synergy. Next thing I want to talk about is a little philosophy. And I'm not Plato, but this is, this is you have to know where I'm coming from with this stuff. And what my plan is this, what, what, my, what I'm going to do is this. Here, this. These two hours I'm going to talk about the run game and installation of the offense. How this offense came about. And, and, uh, and why I think that it's a, it's a really good offense. Like Rick, uh, I mean, uh, Jim McNally said that there's a lot of different ways to do things, and, and this is one of them. But I've been hired four times in turnaround situations at, at the four college jobs. In other words, the, the, the presidents of those universities were weighing, say, let's see, drop the program hire Tony. Drop the program, hire Tony. That's kind of where it was. So they were all have-not situations, all turnaround situations. And all situations like at Mercyhurst or the University of Charleston with about a thousand students that were having a hard time competing. Uh, University of Charleston um, was three and eight our first year there. Uh, be, the year before we got there, they were three and eight. And my first year there, we were eight and three. So in one year, we had the biggest turnaround in conference history. And, and believe me, it, that sold me more than anything on what we were doing because that year, we, our starting right tackle was the mascot the year before. You, football, and I discovered this early in my life, football is not a game of averages and percentages. And yet people view it as though it was baseball which baseball is averages and percentages. Football isn't. It's individual matchups. So, so what you scored against Troy State doesn't mean a jack thing to how well you're going to play against Oklahoma. It's individual stuff. So that, that was the first thing. So the meaningful stats, averages and percentages mean zero. Zero. They don't help you win. It's just like a couple of years ago, Florida scored 84 points on Tennessee Chattanooga or some school like that and then got shut out by LSU. They're averaging 42 points a game. Come on. First thing is to score 25 points. And that's a baseline. Can you score 25 points? on the team you're playing. I didn't say average 25, because that's what everybody says, oh, we would average 25. So with that, what I wanted to do in developing an offense was one score 25 versus anybody. Okay? Now when Coach, when John Whittakin played for me, we were a Division three school and played Villanova, who's a 1AA school with 63 scholarships and lost 42-35 and 35-28, I think. It had 900 yards in two games combined, total offense. So what, what did that tell We could move the ball on the best on our schedule. We could score 25 against anybody. So that's the first thing. And so the way you do that, or the equalizer, is the option. Right? You watch the service academies. Navy, Coach Ken at Navy does a great job. Uh, I mean, you see, you see, they played South Carolina. They had no business being on the field against South Carolina and lose by a touchdown. So that's what I'm saying. Now, all of a sudden, that equalizes things a little bit, the option. 
All right, so here's how we started. To, here's how we did this. We wanted to create a balanced situation. That has always been my deal, whether it was under center triple or in the gun. Balance is important. No matter what people tell you, you have to be able to do both. You can't line up and just run triple option into a good defense because they'll pack the box and you'll be stuck. You know, when I was talking to uh, Mike Stock at lunch, he, and he worked with at Notre Dame when they beat Texas, what they did was put, basically put nine men in the box against the Texas wishbone in 71 and beat them in the Cotton Bowl. Let me tell you something. You can stop the triple option if you're willing to put enough people in the box. So balance had to be option slash quick game. Now that's that's tougher because if you put eight eight in the box, what can you throw? You can throw a hitch and throw the ball outside till the cows come home. Okay, so why why triple gun? Why not flex bone or whatever? 